So what are economists saying about the Windsor framework? <laughs> I, I, I'm still baffled by Rishi Sunak there pointing out the privileged position of being in both the single He's raring to go. He's like, guys, this is great. If only we'd realised this in 2016. Um, the economists are debating this furiously, the economic impact of the Windsor framework. We spoke to Karen Ward, Cherry Hunt, the, the Chancellor's uh, economic advisor, about this. And she said that it's going to reduce uncertainty, boost business investment and boost growth. And Rishi Sunak himself has been touting the economic benefits of the deal. Um, but actually there was a note from James Smith at ING yesterday where he pointed out that according to Bank of England survey data, actually business isn't the big reason why people aren't, businesses aren't investing and their decisions will be more steered by energy prices as things move forward. So what does it mean going forward? Like when does this actually get passed through? Do we know that the union is are behind the deal? <laughs> uh, well, we're still waiting for their legal eagles to comb through the text, and the European Research Group of Tory Brexit has hired a team to do that. Um, we might get more clues at Prime Minister's questions later today, any questions from ERG members or DUP members put to the Prime Minister later, but a carrot that he might dangle is on this investment question. Scoop on the terminal from Alex Wickham and Ellen Milligan today uh, saying that there's billions ready to invest in Northern Ireland from America uh, if they can get a deal over the line. It reminds me of Bill Clinton in the run-up to the Good Friday Agreement trying to use business investment as an incentive to get a deal on the table.